And then we got some blueberries. I, I'm thinking. So I pried it open with the thanks to my key. Or then I got a different kind of miso this time. This is shiro miso. Or sorry, I don't have these. Where um, at the ocean? I get some delicious food. Um, if it was great to just get out of the house and kind of um, get some good food book but you can find all of those links in at It's Amy and the kiddos, and today we're going to be going to the Asian grocery store in Little Rock. It's been long overdue. We're out of kimchi, and we've got to go get a few other things, so we're going to take you with us, and we hope that you enjoy. get a snack at Whole Foods and all the kids got a water bar and a water bottle and I ended up trying to get some of this vegan jerky which is super duper 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 expensive so I probably won't ever buy it again but I just wanted to try it and I'm hoping it's really good the only problem is is I tried to open it by pulling the thing off and it won't open I want to try it but we also got some yogurt, some blueberries, and some smoked Gouda from Follow Your Heart. I've been craving that a lot lately, and I just want a good grilled cheese sandwich. Um, we've got all of our Asian grocery store um, items, and I'm super excited about that. Got a lot of stuff. I mean, that's the thing is I spent, I think, $30 at Whole Foods and didn't even get a full bag. I spent $60 at the Asian grocery store and walked out with four heavy bags full of food. So, I mean, that's kind of a lesson there, if you will. Whole Foods is great for a treat, but I don't think I could shop here every week. I really don't. I love Whole Foods, but not that much. So I pried it open thanks to my keys, and we're gonna all try it together. So you guys try it and tell me what you think. Mmm! Mmm! What's it taste like? Mmm. This is like beef to me. It tastes like beef. 
Mm-hmm. I have like on mine. Do you think it tastes like bacon? It's really good. Guess what? 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 It's vegan. Whoa. So this is what it looks like. And I'm telling you, maybe it's just been that long since I've had like real bacon, but maple bacon flavored. If you want to treat yourself, I think this is a good way to do it. Try it out. start putting stuff away. First, we have a very large Napa cabbage because I'm thinking about finally sharing with you guys how I make kimchi. Okay, bottom joy. Yes. Speaking of kimchi, I bought some more kimchi. Ooh, I have missed this. This um, oriental grocery store that I go to in Little Rock it has my favorite kimchi I've ever had, ever. It's, it's so good. We have some onions, some pickled radishes. I actually tried these back at tax time last year, probably around March or April. These are really good. We have a Korean radish. Then we have some kimchi dumplings that are vegan. And uh, we've had these before and we, we really like these. This one is Shiro Misa. The other one I think is Aza. I think it's red and white, but this one looked a little smoother, so I'm gonna try this out and see how this goes. I love to use the miso, especially when I make uh, vegan ramen. I got some of these. I haven't had these in a long time. I don't have these at the Asian grocery store that we go to, but uh, these are seasoned and fried soybean curd. Very, very good. You put rice in it, you put a little bit of seasoning on it. Um, I leave the sesame seeds off because I'm allergic, but this is amazing. Now, if you like my Facebook page, you might have seen the other day uh, that I saw how to make your own tofu from P. Allen Smith. And so I ended up picking up some soybeans. Now this is 30 ounces and it was $4. So I'm like, $4 to make tofu from scratch? I don't know how this is going to turn out or whether it'll be worth it, but I'm excited to at least try it. I also bought some rice flour just to have on hand. It's one of my favorite thickeners. I love to bread things with it. It's just overall a really great flour to have on hand that's also gluten free. Then I got some rice cakes. Duck bulky is one of our favorites, um, except for Mark who doesn't like it spicy. But you can also bake them and just do regular sauces on them too. Hello, Mark. I was watching through some of my old videos and I noticed that the price on the jackfruit that I bought at our local Asian grocery store was like $2.50. This was $1.99. So I ended up getting three cans of jackfruit. I'm going to be sharing with y'all very soon a recipe for Korean bulgogi. If y'all haven't realized yet, Asian food or Korean food specifically is one of my favorite foods. I think Mommy Tang was really the person who got me into Korean food and ever since that, I. I could live at an Asian grocery store. All right, next we got some more veggies. I got some oyster mushrooms. Um, I've been told that these have a seafood-like taste flavor to them. So I'm thinking about experimenting, maybe chopping them up, frying them up into bits and seeing how they taste. Of course, I got a ton of green onions. Their green onions are always nice and big and thick and yummy and delicious. I don't know how they get good produce year round, but I mean, they do. Also for kimchi, I got an Asian pear. Um, these are big, juicy, delicious, absolutely amazing pears, and I, I really like them. They're good and sweet too. And then last from the Asian grocery store, their cucumbers are small, but they are absolutely amazing. I hate that I had I put them in this plastic bag, and I forgot my canvas bag, like the terrible vegan that I am. But they are absolutely delicious, 
and one of my favorites to cut up. Um, it just seems like they're not sour, they're not bitter, um, and they're just absolutely delicious. And last but not least, we did drop into Whole Foods. I don't like going into there because I'd like to spend just my whole paycheck there. I mean, there's a reason why they call it whole paycheck instead of whole foods but um i did want to just pick up a couple like treats while we were there um and i stayed you know low on my budget because i went to the asian grocery store um i got some cot heel vanilla yogurt uh, this is one of our favorite brands of yogurt for um granola and stuff like that they did have a cool cashew looking one but i was just a little timid on trying new things today anyway um then i got some smoked gouda like i mentioned i got the slices really want a grilled cheese my favorite grilled treat cheese is this smoked gouda with some kalamata olives and some green onion on it. It's the best in the world. It really is. Then we got some blueberries. I'm thinking some granola, some yogurt, blueberries. It sounds like it would be a nice breakfast in the morning. As far as it goes for the vegan jerky, I mean, it was good. Was it $7 for this tiny package good? No, but the thing about treats are is it's just a nice way to feel better. I've been dealing with some depression and anxiety lately that I haven't been wanting to talk about. I um, have been very stressed at work and so I have just decided I wanted a little treat and I was okay with spending way too much money on it. But um, definitely something that I'd like to look into making myself. But that's it for this little mini vlog slash grocery store haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It was a fun day and we haven't done this in a really long time. So it was great to get out of the house and go get some delicious food. If you'll follow me on Instagram at workhardykind, you can actually see the things I cook. Um, I also do a little bit on Snapchat, a little bit on Facebook, but, but you can find all of those links in the description box below or you can just look for work hardy kind that's what i am just about anywhere i love you guys thank you so much for your support it's greatly greatly appreciated i hope that you're gonna go work hard and eat kind and we'll see you on the next one bye guys bye 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 guys I didn't do that.